Next up, at UFC Vegas 68, we have the main card opener of Yusaka Kinoshita taking on Adam Fugit. Yusaka Kinoshita is 6-0 overall. How is he 4-1 in his last five? Oh, it was a DQ. That's why. 4-1 mm -hmm. in his last five. There is a DQ in there. Um, but it's not... It's it, He grabbed the fence, but he was sort of getting beat up, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Adam Fugit, 8-3 overall, 4-1 in his last five. Coming off a short notice UFC debut loss. And Kinoshita, he's listed at 6-1 overall, but that was a... DQ. It was not a true loss. He grabbed the fence. Style-wise, slick, powerful striker with incredible striking defense and counter-striking. Moves his head out of the way perfectly. Doesn't lose sight of what's going on and then just fires back. If you go check out his contender series win, that was incredible how he did that. His takedown defense, however, is not incredible. He gets taken down easily. And in that fight where he was DQ'd, he was getting ragdolled. Sumimura was the opponent. He was getting tossed around, ragdolled. He can get back up. He's got a great get-up game, but but he's just getting... His takedown defense is not great. Adam Fu gets a forward pressure wrestler with a very loose boxing style. He bounces on his toes, high guard, lunges in for takedowns. He's, you know, he doesn't have the best takedown entries, but he can pick you up. He can slam you and... He does have a high, tight striking guard, but punches do get through, and he is hit somewhat easily. This is this is this fight is surprising to me because I get Adam being the underdog. I don't get the line continuing to move against him because, as I mentioned, Kinoshita. If you go watch that Sumimura fight, he was getting ragdolled, like just tossed around, and Adam Fugit is a wrestler. That can do that. Plus, Adam Fugit's not dealing with a 17-hour time difference and everything else going on. So I genuinely like Adam Fugit to win. I genuinely like him to win this fight. I have a quarter of a unit, just a tiny little quarter of a unit on that because I do think he'll come forward. I do think he'll wrestle heavy. And Kinoshita absolutely has holes in the wrestling department. The line is continuing to move. You get better value than I got at plus 270. Dude is a plus 205, now plus 270. I know you're on the opposite side and you can't even understand how Fugit is even, how anybody likes him. Uh, yeah, that guy sucks. I mean, I mean, that just, he's just, you know, he's, he's, a, he's an okay fighter, but the love for Adam this week and last week and leading up to this fight, I, I don't get it. I, I but just where, don't where are you seeing I the love? I, I haven't seen anybody else. I mean, everyone. The I, Discord? I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it on Discord. I, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, my God, Adam, 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 Adam. Nobody with money because that line's going the other way. So nobody with money. Yeah, I just don't know how you can watch that Michael fight and come away with any sort of positivities for Adam in that fight. Yeah, he got a takedown. It was a nice little inside trip. I think it took Marlon by – or I always say Marlon because I think, I think it's Marlon Marias, but Michael by surprise more than anything because after that fact – he didn't do anything with it either, by the way. I mean, he, he – I don't think he even followed him to the ground. So he got this little takedown that didn't even do anything in the fight. And the rest of the time, he was just getting the crap beat out of him. And every other takedown he shot was just absolutely atrocious. It was awful. And yeah, he moves forward, and yeah, he's a pressured fighter, and yeah, he looks like a tough dude, and yeah, he, he might have the wrestling in this fight, but there was nothing when I watched that Michael fight that I thought, oh yeah, this guy's definitely going to come in and steamroll this big favor, this power puncher in, in, in Kino in this match. I just don't see it. And yeah, he's a, he's a pressure guy and a tough guy, but he got tired. He got tired. I mean, Michael was Short tired. Short notice. Yeah, but he got tired in that fight, and he got finished in that fight. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you want to watch that Michael fight and come away and think, oh, this guy's tough, he's, he's going to out-tough this dude, Kino, I guess that's the angle to play. If you want to play, oh, he's going to out-wrestle him, I think his takedowns suck. And, you know, I, I just don't see anything in that Michael fight where I'm like, oh, yeah, this guy's actually a, a, a top-level fighter who's going to come in and steamroll this new guy. I think Kino runs You're basing cool. the whole breakdown on his short-notice UFC debut fight? Yeah. I mean, he sh he showed a lot in that fight. I mean, he showed he showed good pressure, but his his striking was. Well, you're going to complain that he got tired. Like it was short notice. I'm not complaining. I'm saying that's another foul. I'm not my whole breakdown wasn't. Oh, he's getting tired, so he's going to lose. I it said that he, was. that was another aspect of it. That he also got tired as well. So 
I think, I think he's right. a very then average Give me starter. odds. Let's bet. Let's bet on odds. Okay. Okay. Minus 320 plus 270. Okay. I win. You give me 100. You win. I give you 30. Okay. Done. So hopefully you pay this one. Are you spending the $9,100 on Kitashita? Yeah. All right, great. I love it. You're just going to knock this dude out, man. I mean, Adam gets hit. He gets hit. I said that. He I just said got that the, the shit beat out of him for less than 15 minutes by Michael. Kino's just going to run right through this dude. Ah, listen, I mentioned that he gets hit. I Listen, I to me, the reason I'm on that side, go watch Kinoshita's DQ fight. He gets ragdolled, tossed around, ragdolled, and Fugit can do exactly that. Without the time difference, without all the craziness, in Vegas, not short notice. Oh, listen, I'll risk 30 to win 100. Absolutely. Be done. It wasn't me. I think it was the chat laughing at you. <laughs> okay. Um, I think Twitter's getting a little loud. <laughs> Monkey Knight by Strike Line, 59 to 46. Uh, I'm not going to touch that. I think there's a lot of grappling, but I do recognize kinoshita has got some real power there. So I'm not touching that monkey knife fight strike line. You think it's a less less? You just think he blows right through uh, him? It's probably a less less because this dude Adam kind of leads with his chin, and you're going to see how that turns out. All right. All right. I guess. I guess we'll find out. Well, I guess we'll find out. Are you literally just copying me? Just copying? Okay. See? Okay. Okay. La okay. Ladies, right, ladies, this is your man. This is your man. That's him. Right, that's him. That sweater. That sweater. Play the copy Laying game. The copy game. <laughs> Allergic to Allergic the sun. To sun. Went outside yeah, three outside. times. Got cancer. Got cancer. Cut it out of him. Him. He eventually will they also eventually be allergic to, to water. Water. Oxygen <laughs> and everything else. And everything because else because this earth is this trying is to earth kill is, him. Yeah. 